We continue to follow breaking news from Mount Pleasant tonight after two people were shot and killed at Central Michigan University. We have team coverage as police are searching for the suspect and the community remains on high alert. The news at 6 starts right now. WNEM TV 5 News starts right now with a breaking news alert. A manhunt underway in Mount Pleasant tonight. Police searching for the 19-year-old who shot and killed his parents on the campus of CMU. Now, it happened this morning at Camel Hall. Officers say the suspect was last seen running northbound. The campus and surrounding businesses and schools placed on lockdown. The suspect, 19-year-old James Eric Davis Jr., is considered armed and dangerous. Tonight, we are learning more about him and the victims. TV5's James Felton joins us live in Mount Pleasant with the very latest tonight. James. Thanks, guys. We are here at University Center on the campus of Central Michigan University, where at this hour we can still hear choppers flying overhead as police look for their suspect, James Eric Davis. He is accused, or he is believed to have shot two people on the campus of CMU this morning at, on the fourth floor of Campbell Hall. Earlier today, there was a press briefing about two hours ago held by law enforcement officials, the governor, and and university officials and I did ask law enforcement officials for one how the search evolves as nightfall approaches and two why they haven't confirmed the names of the victims yet even though every media outlet and even a Illinois state representative is naming those names here's what he had to say that's a concern for all of us we'd still want to encourage the, the residents of Mount Pleasant uh, to, to shelter in their homes, not to be super active until the individual is, is apprehended. The deceased individuals are still at that location. We've got to get confirmation before we release anybody's name or identity. We have to have that confirmation with confident before we release that. Right now, I cannot release that. I can't release whether, you know, it, if a, a weapon was left at the scene or, or, or where we're at with that, and I can defer to the colonel because they're assisting with that portion of the investigation with their crime scene technicians. But, sir, I, at this point, I just cannot release the deceased individual's names. And I, and I understand where you're coming from. You've got information from other sources. As soon as we're able to make total confirmation of who we have deceased there, we will release that information. Now, again, police say they believe that this suspect is armed and dangerous. They say do not approach him. If you see him, call 911. They believe he is still within the city limits of Mount Pleasant, somewhere north of CMU's campus. But again, the search goes on. For now, reporting live and local in Mount Pleasant, James Felton, WNEM. TV5. All right, James, thank you. We now want to get to TV5 Scott Walchek as police have been combing the Mount Pleasant area searching for Davis. Scott. David, as the night draws near, the police still have no reported sightings of the suspect. Despite that, the police are clearly making their presence known around Mount Pleasant. You can't go anywhere without seeing them. Uh, everywhere you look, you will find some kind of police officer, be it MSP or uh, Central Police, the canine units, SWAT teams. Most of all, there's the constant buzz of helicopters that disappeared for a little bit, at least from my side but it just popped back up and it's been floating over the north side of the city. They're really bringing everything but the kitchen sink out here and this manhunt is pretty startling for the people of Mount Pleasant. Obviously they're trying to keep us safe. It's been the helicopter's been circling around my house since about you know 9 30 this morning so it's been uh, interesting to say the least. Have you ever seen anything like this? Certainly not around here no. Overall, the police seem to be focusing their attention and having more troops out on the north side of town. And they ask the biggest thing for this search is community involvement. So if you see anything suspicious, give them a call. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, Scott Walchuk, WNEM TV5. Absolutely. If you see him, do not approach him. Call 911. Scott, thank you. Now we want to get to the scene of that shooting tonight as students are about to head home for spring break. That's right, David. TV5's Kate Nadolski joins us live at Campbell Hall tonight. Now, Kate some very terrifying moments for, stu for students living there today. 
Yeah, David Collette, there's still dozens of officers on scene here at Campbell Hall, which has reopened with the exception of the fourth floor where that shooting took place earlier this morning. Now, if you take a look behind me, you can see those police cars and, of course, Campbell Hall in the distance here. It's that newer looking building a little bit further away. Now, it's a part of the towers, which is made up of eight residential buildings that are all connected at the center. Students in these residence halls were stuck in their rooms for hours on lockdown, some even putting chairs and furniture in front of their doors for safety, but they have since been released. Now, I spoke with a few roommates who live right up on the fifth floor of Campbell Hall, and they were home when all of this was unfolding right below them. My roommate actually woke me up. Uh, he's like, Sam, did you get the call? Did you hear the gunshots? Because he heard the gunshots right below us, and I didn't. And uh, he says, go look out the window, and there's police cars blocking the road. Uh, then I, like, looked at my phone. I listened to the voicemail. I just, I didn't believe what was going on. I know you've said before that you actually have had interaction with the suspect. Tell me about that interaction. It wasn't really anything abnormal. Just rode the elevator with him once. Nothing creepy at all. Now, again, as this situation has been unfolding, police are still searching for this suspect. If you see him or know anything about this situation, you're being asked to call police right away. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant tonight, Kate Nadolski, WNEM. TV5. Okay, thank you. And we will have continuing coverage from Mount Pleasant coming up in just a few moments. Stay with TV5 both online and on air as we continue to follow this breaking news.